In this unit, we're going to talk about the general video and command interfacing of the Lepton Micro Thermal Camera Module. www.fleer.com forward slash Lepton Integration is the best resource to get started with Lepton. It includes guides, reference designs, software, application notes, and videos to help you learn how Lepton works and how to access streaming data. Some of the primary platforms that developers use for integration a Raspberry Pi or Windows. Generally, Raspberry Pi is an example of what to use for a Linux or processor-based implementation. Windows would be used for testing and paired with a pure thermal board offered by GroupGets. The Lepton user app is the standard application to use on the Windows platform, paired with the pure thermal board. That's because Lepton is a custom camera and has a very specific electrical interface. This type of board has a standard USB output that can easily stream over UVC. If the AGC is done on the camera, the post-AGC RGB888 output comes from the camera. Use it for designs that do not require radiometry and only need to display contrast in the scene. Only one video output is available from the camera. So if both temperature data and high contrast video are required, AGC will be done by the Integrators platform. Teledyne FLIR can provide advice for this type of image processing, but ultimately it will require implementation by the Integrator. The Lepton SDK is used for all the command control and is available at FLIR.CustHelp.com, in addition to user guides and tips on how to interface with it on other platforms. It's worth noting that telemetry is always an option to obtain the values of parameters from the camera. Acquire parameter values, such as the Lepton Sensor Temperature, TFPA, from the SDK over I2C. They're also viewable through the SPI video in the telemetry. The entire I2C communication protocol is contained within the SDK. It handles everything from command construction to byte packing. The diagram shows how everything fits into the I2C packets. Lepton can be programmed so commands are not required for specific settings, but it's very rare that integrators implement this since it requires special hardware and processing. It's best to send commands to the camera after boot up when ready to use the system. For further questions or support in general, please go to www.fleer.custhelp.com to connect with our support agents as well as our application engineers. Additional integration resources can be found at www.fleer.com forward slash lepton integration. Thank you for your time.